Welcome back to the do or die stage. It's the last leg of qualifying of the Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit College Frenzy. But the top team so far is the Elton College with a total of 60 points. What a fantastic run they've had, but it's all not over till the last four teams have had their run at the course. Coming up, the lovely professional university races Hunts Ranch College. Ayusha and Sanjay had it all to play for. Ayush dropped out earlier the vertical climb and Sanjay was able to build up a strong lead. It was an impressive performance from Sanjay, but he couldn't maintain the rhythm once he got to push your limits. Despite his best efforts, he lost both his lives. But first heat went to LPU keeping their hopes alive. The second race was a flop tie after both Arun and Jyoti couldn't manage to get past the vertical climb. It's up to the main men of both colleges now. The Lone Ranger, Abisar, versus the macho man from Madhra Pradesh, Nitin Pawar. Hi, my name is Nitin Pawar. I'm from Lowly Pradesh University. I belong from Madhya Pradesh, Sindhwada. My main sport is weightlifting and powerlifting. I've been weight training since 9th standard. My personal bench press record is 110 kg and initially started from 30 kg. My inspiration for weightlifting is Dimitri. I think he's the strongest man alive. My family is overall supportive to the weightlifting career, but my mom sometimes gets scared and she thinks I may hurt myself, but I think she will eventually understand. My immediate goal is to use my full force to win the nationals for weightlifting, and I will use the same force to win college frenzy. Both these boys, Nitin Bavar and Abhishar Varma, have done very, very well. Nitin Bavar, in fact, uh, defeated the fastest guy on the court, Narsing. He had an impeccable timing of 1.47. Uh, yeah, around about the 140 yeah, range, wasn't it? And I'll tell you yeah. something, on paper, this is the most intriguing clash of the entire second round of qualifying matches so far because there's a lot resting on it. LPU leading the way. Hans Raj previously unbeaten. Unless Abishar can beat Nitten and finish the course, it's going to be Hans Raj dropping to four and one. They might still make the quarterfinals, but for LPU, a win here takes them to three and two. And with 30 points on the board, their quarterfinal hopes are still alive. And the big question is, how much did that impressive run by Nitten earlier on today take out of him? The answer at the moment looks like not very much. He's sailed straight to the hanging doors and at the moment in his wake Abhishek Verma is going to have to play a waiting game and hope that Nitan blows himself out early here yeah he'll have to watch and wait but we've seen plenty of fortunes being turned right around here Patrick these obstacles are the ones which actually give you plenty of time to make up time in case an athlete he wants to get straight on with business with the push your limits well if there's a prize for the most improved athlete from the first round of qualifying matches to the second stand forward Nitin power without any question the improvement he's made having experienced the course three times to his fourth and fifth runs today has been absolutely spectacular yes Nitin power once again looks absolutely beautiful when it comes to the push your limits challenge those biceps look absolutely aesthetic and pleasing to the well, eye. Well, to move to 30 points and take one step closer to the quarterfinals, the teammates are up there to greet him and it's a big upset. Hans Raj have been beaten, their unbeaten record up in smoke. Nitin has completed his second run today in 153. He has by far been one of our contestants who has improved with every run. Maybe by 10 seconds a little slower, but you've improved. You've improved. I just want to advise you I was just saying that he was a little grip. Because he just loses the... When he just switches the bar... Rings, he just lost them each and every time, I guess. And you got some inspiration to see Randy? Of course, sir. Inspiration is you can see it. And inspiration is you can see it. Inspiration is you can see it. Every run is improving. We will do it, we will die, blood, we will sweat, we will do everything. Yes, we will do everything. When we came to this day, we were doing it from the room. We were doing anything. 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 Lovely professional university wins again, Sananda. What a roller coaster of emotions this competition is proving. It's a great metaphor and a comparison to life. One minute you're up, and next minute you're down. For now, LPU back up. Coming up, the last race of the day. It's LPU versus Khalsa College.
LPU had it all to play for as Chandan and Jyoti took to the field. But this was another of those races where not much happened with early eliminations at the vertical climb. Not the kind of winning performances that were needed. And it was on to Mohit and Sanjay for the next bout. Mohit was once again left behind at the vertical climb as Sanjay pulled through. Without any challenger, it was all Sanjay's to lose and unfortunately he lost all his lives at pusher limits. LPU needed a breath of fresh air to carry them into the semis. The pressure's on, two giants are colliding head on between Nitin and Narsing. Who is going to keep their cool? This is absolutely our best chance to see that happening, Patrick. Narsing really, really did well in his uh, first day. Uh, three impeccable uh, finishes. And we also have some very, very good finishes from Mithin Pavar, who is leading at the moment. Narsing has had his woes on the Push Your Limits obstacle, uh, where we'll find out whether or not he does any better at that at the moment. But Mithin Pavar is surging ahead in the competition at the moment. He's completely looking ironborn at the moment. This is the classic classic between a man who peaked maybe too early and another man in Nitin Power who could be peaking at just the right time. They're both at the hanging door simultaneously ah. and if anything, Narsing Chowdhury now takes a narrow lead as Nitin Power struggles with his second door. He's finally got the rope, but he looks up to see that his nemesis, Narsing Chowdhury, is now striding ahead and it looks like it'll be Chowdhury that gets to push your limits first, but can he maintain that lead as they approach the toughest obstacle on the course? Oh. Thrashing the rope out the way is Nitin Power on the right, he's catching up again to Narsing Chowdhury, but it's Chowdhury that gets to the rings first. Absolutely, and we again, once again, see the display of some marvellous skill when it comes to the first push across the Push Your Limits uh, obstacle, but whether or not he'll be able to maintain that and get to the end of this will be something to find out. Chowdhury on the left, power first there on the right, and it's Nitan Power sailing through the angle run, but here comes oh, Chowdhury, yeah! neck and neck. Yeah! Who's going to press the buzzer yes, first? That's gonna it's going to be, oh my word, it's a photo finish. Yeah, yeah. Nothing to split them. Nitin Power or Narsing Chowdhury. And we'll wait for the adjudication. I'm going to get over there. Both the boys looked actually pretty, pretty close. So our umpires and officials are meticulously checking the video footage to see who pressed that buzzer first. Remember, it's not who gets to the top of the summit first. Who do you think won? Who do you think won? I don't have any idea, I guess. We both just came at the same point, I guess. Yeah, because it's not who gets to the top first, it's who presses the buzzer. Who do you think won? Yeah. Do you think you won it? Yeah, yeah. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. In true boxing style here, I'll get both your arms and I'm going to raise the arm of the winner. So you ready? It's a boxing contest that's gone to decision. The winner of this race is both of you. It's a dead heat. There was nothing to split. You both one minute 32. I know that's going to be a small consolation because you'd like to have a winner. But what a display of sportsmanship. The best race we've had in the competition so far. They don't like it, either of them. But the pictures don't lie. It's a dead heat. One minute 32 seconds you guys completed on the same time. It was a tie. So what's your take on the race now? Competition Taris, I have a lot of people who 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 have a lot of have a lot of people who have a lot of people who have followed by Casey College and Hans Raj with 50 points, Lovely Professional University at 40, CACPE end their campaign with 30 points, Kausa College and Pune University with 10 each, and Lady Sriram College failing to pick up a single point. So after a riveting round of action, four teams confirm their berths in the quarters. But where you've got winners, you've got the men who missed out. This is the last we'll see of these colleges, for now at least, it's up to them to learn from their defeat and come back fitter, faster and stronger next time. Dial Singh, KC, Hans Raj and LPU met the challenge head on and experienced the exhilaration of victory. There's still a long way to go, mind, but they've got the incentives to make it there. Nine lakhs up for grabs with the fastest contestant in the final driving off in the all-new Maruti Suzuki Swift. We saw the fast 
and the furious. But the ones that remain are only the fearless. Next week, the frenzy continues as the remaining two groups battle it out to reach the quarters of the baddest, the meanest, the one and only Maruti Suzuki Devil Circuit Polish Frenzy.